Now, because we're nearly out of time, <laughs> well, that depends. <laughs> um, this is Yeoman's property in 1968. Um, all of these ponds are not in creeks. They're all in the first, within the first three orders of, of catchment. So all of your ponds, all of your reservoirs of water are in the fourth and fifth orders of catchment. <laughs> so they're upsetting stream flows and they're at the bottom. So they have to be pumped. Pretty dumb, really. Um, we often forget that physics are for free and gravity is for free and that we can quite, we've got landscapes, particularly in areas like California, we've got um, enormous opportunities um, to place um, storages um, at higher levels in our catchment and therefore achieve the gravity from them as opposed to having these elaborate pumping systems and infrastructure that's dependent on energy, you can simply turn a valve on and away you go. Can you envisage this um, with houses on it? Well, you're going to have to because um, this property has just been sold for $40 million. Um, and those of you who've done my courses would know we've talked about this because of this photograph here. Let's go back to, see this, this pond here at the bottom? You know, just remember that and just have a look at all of the market gardens. Um, Gunner, Gunner knows this story. He, his um, old baseball field is now a car park for a, for a strip mall. Um, there's, all of, there's your market garden. First, food, the highest value food production area is always the one that goes into um, housing development. And then where that uh, very large storage there, in fact the second largest storage in this whole layout, is now um, a subdivision. Now what's insane about this development, this um, newer one, is that um, they pump their water from 50 miles away and pump back their effluent another 50 miles away. Yeah. We've calculated that there's enough water on this 750 acres for 2,000 houses. So that actually, if you buy that as a development, 40 million bucks for 2,000 houses, that's pr they're pretty cheap lots actually, um, from Western standards. You know, Australia's a Western country. We've got a, I think we've got a slightly higher GDP than you guys have. Um, we call ourselves, kidding, the, uh, as the um, 51st state. Um, we have everything you have. Um, you know, American pop culture is totally pervasive, such to the point that I was named after Darren of Bewitched. <laughs> it's sad but true. I should have been Stephen. So it would have been, G'day Steve. <laughs> or Step. Yeah. I said I'm Dazza. Yeah. All right, or Derwood. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, <laughs> this property has now been sold and um, it's been sold to a developer, so my prophecy has um, come true. And I hope to get home in time to go and have a talk to the developer because I can imagine houses being across this landscape and I can imagine it. Um, actually being a landscape that um, is um, independent in terms of its water supply. In fact, it would have a surplus um, and would be a pretty nice landscape. It would almost be like living on one of those golf course developments, really, except there's no golf course. You notice those golf courses, they've got so much water, water features and um, they never use the water, hardly. 